Road.fm. Gear up. Welcome, nomads. Now what? It appears our election was just stolen from us. Not just one election, but many across the country at very different levels. My last podcast that I did yesterday, actually, let me correct that. I uploaded that podcast long before I aired it. And people are asking me, how did you know? How did you know that was going to happen? All this is in the Bible. All you got to do is read it. It's all in there. Things have to happen for prophecies to come true. Everybody thinks there's a silver lining and man's going to be the savior. Man's not going to be the savior. Man's ruining this country and ruining the world because the world is watching what's happening in the United States. There's so many influences going on here. It's not even funny anymore. But people really think that their voice matters. Let's dive in and find out why it doesn't. But you know what? I bet God has gotten the entire world's attention now. The demon rats have shown who they really are. And yes, demon rats and Democrats are way different people. Demon rats have an agenda to tear this country apart and take God out of everything. But they want to put men in little girls' bathrooms. And they want children as young as eight years old out in California to be able to have consensual sex? What the heck is that? But you know, these demon rats on more than one occasion took one nation under God out from our pledge. They've had little league and youth sports. Oh, you can't do the national anthem before the game because it's offensive. They've torn down statues. They've taken the flag down. There's, you know, comments and chatter about what they want the new American flag to look like, the stripes to be rainbow. You got to be kidding me. They have put sexual perversions and abnormalities front and center. Oh, and what about this fool, Rep. Emanuel Cleaver, that said the invocation prayer for the new Congress, and he prayed to the monotheistic god Brahma. If you don't know what that is, Google it. B R A. H-M-A. Look that one up for yourself. That particular deity contains the God of destruction of the earth. That's a signal of what he's doing, what these people are up to. And then he finished a prayer with a man and a woman. Come on. If that doesn't show you how godless these people truly are, nothing will. But of course, he's now retracting his statement that he said it in jest and because he had a mask on, you couldn't see his facial expression. No, God heard your words and he heard it from your heart, Mr. Cleaver. You understand? You can't take it back now. God heard that and millions of people heard that. So that one's at your feet. Oh, and by the way. He's a pastor of a church in Kansas City, Missouri. I wonder how many he's led astray. On that thought, let's take a quick break. So what happens now, you ask? I'm doing this podcast at 1500 hours on Wednesday, January 6th, 2021. The reports I'm getting from people that are actually in D.C. and what the news is posting is way different, folks. Ask yourself this. The news is putting these riots and people are breaking windows and they rush the Capitol. But notice something. There's no spray painting. There's no destruction. There's no fires. Don't you find that odd? Has all this been scripted? Like a a bad movie scene? Have we been played here the entire time? Our republic of freedom is absolutely under attack. But it seems to be from within. And nobody's doing anything about it. If these riots and protests and people tearing up the Capitol are going on, I pray that no one gets hurt or killed. But 
are people finally standing up for our freedoms and saying enough is enough. People who think that, oh, next time we'll get more people to vote our way through knocking on doors and campaigning, they really don't get what just happened. Your vote didn't count. A system was used to manipulate the outcomes, plain and simple. Again, your vote didn't even count. Many people over the centuries died for our right to vote just for that. Whether if you're a minority, a woman, people died for you to be able to go to the polls and make a vote that counts. And it was just taken from you once and for all. What are you going to do about that? How are you going to handle that? How does that make you feel? And again, I don't care politically where you stand, right, left, in the middle, doesn't matter. They just created a system and they tested it many times over to make sure your vote didn't count. And for those that are Biden supporters, you feel, oh, your guy won, so it's okay. Those that are Trump supporters, very sour. It's not okay. Doesn't matter who you voted for. They chose for you. And people have every right to be frustrated and angry. But there's order that needs to be done. If you remember the walls of Jericho, that's in Joshua chapter 6 verses 2 through 5 and it reads, But the Lord said to Joshua, I have given you Jericho its king, and all its strong warriors. You and your fighting men should march around the town once a day for six days. Seven priests will walk ahead of the ark, each carrying a ram's horn. On the seventh day, you are to march around the town seven times, with the priests blowing the horns. When you hear the priests give one long blast on the ram's horns, have all the people shout as loud as they can. Then the walls of the town will collapse and the people can charge straight into the town. Folks, that's a scripture about unifying. They don't want people to do that. There's not enough people to unify to do the Jericho shout. Do you get it now? Why they have everyone divided? So final thought here, folks. The only thing that comes to mind is our land needs healing. And there's only one way to get that done. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 reads, If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Has God gotten your attention yet? He's going to come like a thief in the night. You don't know when the day of the hour is. There's a lot of things in prophecy that have already happened and are coming true as we speak. What if Donald Trump was the last president of the United States? What does tomorrow hold? If I were you folks, I wouldn't play with that. I'd put God first. If you have not repented for your sins and you need to say that prayer of salvation, if you stepped away and you, you backslid a little bit and you know you did some things against God's will, stay tuned for that prayer. And one last thing, let freedom ring. Thank you for listening. If you're ready to make the decision and give your life to Christ today, stay tuned for the prayer of salvation. For more information, please visit our website at www.road.fm. Again, that's R O. AD dot FM. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to the podcast on your favorite platforms. And we ask that you share it with at least 10 people to spread the word. We are listener supported here. So on our website, please visit the donate page for ways to contribute and our shop page for the latest merchandise. Remember, we love you and Godspeed, everybody. Repeat after me. Jesus, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart and forgive me for all my sins. Cleanse me 
with your precious blood and write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Fill me with the Holy Spirit and lead me on the road to salvation. I pray this prayer in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.